So we're back, and um, this is sort of an awkward subject to talk about. I'm, I'm a little weirded out by it, but I'm I think not. It's, it's one of those subjects that I think needs to be broached and uh, points to me for using the word broach in a sentence, first of all. Um, but, you know, you might be starting a new job or... Chris, you really are getting awkward about this. It's just weird. But, it's not all right, what weird. Are, it's what something you, we all do every yeah, day. I know hopefully. that, but what are the titles for the tips? What's the title for the tips? Restroom etiquette at the office. Restroom etiquette at the office. Everyone goes to the bathroom. Everybody poops, Chris. There's the book. <laughs> all right. No, I just, it's just, at uh, yeah, work, it's weird. It's just. Well, you know, there's certain rules. Like the 135 rule, that's hugely important when it comes to urinal stalls, from what I gather. What is 135? 135 is do not stand directly next to the person that's. Oh, one, oh yeah. Stall 1, 3, and 5. Well, unless for... you're at a baseball game or a concert where the line's really long. But yeah, yeah I mean, I if mean, you're standing if next the... to your boss and there's like, you know, you'd be. Yeah. If there's everywhere else hey, to go, dude. yeah. There's no ways crowding. to kiss up to your boss. Not one of them. Yeah, that's a bad way. Okay. All right. Always wash your hands. I know it's stupid and simple, and everyone always says it, but come on, people. It's just a matter of simple cleanliness. I'm going to tell you something right now. There's nothing worse than being the guy or the girl who doesn't wash your hands. Because let me tell you, You'll get I caught. don't care where you work. There's always somebody watching, and they'll notice if you come out of that stall and proceed directly to the door. You do not stop at the sink. At the door, because it happened to me at the office. Or not, people can tell if you like if you're too quick. If you're a little too quick. Not at my office. I mean, not at, not not this current office. But right. a while back, there was this guy, and it was the subject at lunch. Everyone was like, "So and so did not wash his hands. How gross is that?" And he was just. Every time you shook his hand or saw him, you were just like, ew. Yeah. You got to feel dirty after Although, that one. Although, can I just say something really quick on that? What? I don't do it a lot. <clears throat> Doesn't happen that often. Haven't done it in a while. But there are certain bathrooms where it's like, I know where I've been. Okay? And I'm not touching anything in the bathroom. Use a paper towel. Turn the thing on, yeah. wash your hands, take another paper towel with you as you're about to leave, well, put it on the door handle. This is specifically for guys at the... This conversation is just really weird for me right now, but I know. guys, you know what I'm talking about. There's the urinal, and it's like, you know where you've been, and you'll know what I'm talking about when I say you've been. You know what's clean and what's not, okay? I mean, really, if you think about it, probably the cleanest part of your body. It's not out in the world. Chris, the girls in segment, like, well, you know, yeah, everyone like, watching yeah. is just kind of going like, okay, either use the terms or I'm don't. I'm just saying, I've been in a, some gas station bathrooms. Although this is for the office, so always wash your hands in the okay. office. Okay, try not to go too often. What the hell does that mean? That means if you have a legitimately small bladder because you're either A, pregnant, or B, you know, have extenuating circumstances, yeah. that's fine. But if you're going every three seconds, people are going to begin to worry and wonder and Don't drink a lot okay. of water, you know? Water is fine. Just make so sure it's not keep drinking every water. You're just gonna have to go. I'm like, I gotta go right now. So wrap it up. Uh huh. Okay. No, really, we gotta wrap it up because it's the end of the segment. Right. We're gonna take a quick break, but uh, we'll be right back. Stick finish. around.